Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night depending on when you are viewing this video. So today we are going to talk about the inclusive education programs in Malaysia. You heard it right. Inclusive education programs in Malaysia. What is inclusive education programs in Malaysia? What is inclusive? I don't know. As usual, I am Dr. Hafiz and you are watching Dr. Hafiz Explains. So what is inclusive actually? Well, inclusive by definition is as you can see on the screen beside me is it's including all of the services of the items, the products. Not nothing is excluded in the um, service or the item or the product. Uh, it's together bundled up. Yeah, inclusive. It's uh, not excluding any sections of the society or any party involved in something. So it's everyone together. So that is inclusive. Putting that aside. So within the context of education, inclusive is the integration of student with special need into mainstream classes. So we are talking about special education. So the inclusive education is including the special education students or students with special needs into the mainstream classes. And these provide the uh, opportunity for the special uh, the students with special needs to use the tools or to be included in the uh, the usual kind of like instructions given to the students the, the the other students so we are not marginalizing the students with special needs so that is very important so we have at this moment the enabling education network ee net uh, which has been established in 1998 and they have defined the inclusive education as education that acknowledges uh, that all children can learn yes all children can learn despite or, or in spite of um, their disability or uh, their special needs they actually can learn uh, and they also acknowledges and respect differences so education must acknowledge and respect differences um, and education Inclusive education also permit the structure, the system and methodology of education to suit students or children's needs. So you need to be able, as, a, as an educator, you need to be able to include the needs of these uh, special education students, their special needs. For example, maybe they are uh, uh, far-sighted, so you need to accommodate your probably the seating situation, seating uh, location of that student in the classroom. So you need to understand your student. And also inclusive education is part of the larger effort to promote inclusivity in society. Yes, that's important. We need to promote inclusivity in society. We cannot, we, we don't, we shouldn't uh, differentiate uh, people with uh, disability or people with uh, special needs um, yeah that's a fact that is what you should do if you bump into uh, a, um, a disabled person uh, on a way in your way to class or pro probably outside when you are uh, strolling in the city you should uh, help them not just dissing them uh, or um, ignore them entirely that is inappropriate all right moving on eenet also says that inclusive education is a dynamic and ever expanding process yeah yeah that is um oh that is actually most relevant to educational process in general it's an ever expanding process you uh for example this year you have this set of students and you author your lesson plans according to that particular group and the following year you won't be uh, getting the same type of students you will have a mixture of different other students with with different kind of needs uh, the thing that you won't probably uh, face in the previous year so you need to adapt 
you need to um, expand your horizon you need to include them in your teaching and learning process or, or, or planning your RPH for example and uh, inclusive education is not limited to the size of the class or the lack of resources so even though you are teaching at the remote area in Malaysia or, or in somewhere in, um, in the universe for example in Mars and by chance your school there doesn't have a projector for example LCD projector what you should do you can't really just say no I don't have a projector so I won't be teaching this bunch of students um, uh, so you need to accommodate you need to be able to adapt if you are trained here in UPSI using advanced tool you also need to be to bear in mind that you probably will be doing your practicum or even posted up, um, to the schools which do not have the facilities that or the luxuries that we have here in university so you need to bear that in mind and prepare well so technology expand uh, sorry ex uh, technology spans from the simple technology paper pencil mahjong paper uh, manila card that is also technology part of technology but it's a it's quite primitive technology but it's it's also technology part of technology so you need to harness that the, the things that are available within your vicinity within your reach to be able to tailor the learning and teaching and learning process or experience that accommodate the students with special needs there are two types of um, inclusive education implemented in Malaysia there is the full inclusive and also partial inclusive the full inclusive means that the students with special needs learn together with the other students in the same class so that is full fully inclusive uh, mode yeah mode and the partial inclusive means that the students with special needs learn with the other students for just a selected number of subjects and the other subjects they will be uh, they will be taught in a special uh, classroom yeah so that is the difference between the full inclusive and, and the partial inclusive type of um, inclusive education implemented in Malaysia so in Malaysia we have education regulation specifically for special education which has been written in 1997 so what does it say here it says that the teachers can change teaching techniques and approaches for the purpose of achieving the special education goal so as I, I mentioned before you as a teacher you need to be able to expand or adapt adopt things to suit your students with special needs mm, yeah needs and this uh, education regulation also uh, state that a student with special needs can be educated if he or she is able to take care of themselves and is certified by a medical practitioner except for students with physical disability but able to learn and a students with a variety of disability who are either highly disabled or mentally retarded so now we are moving on to the looking at the Malaysian education blueprint uh, we have three waves three waves for this uh, PPPM okay the first wave is all about uh, strengthening the existing program so this is about um, the special education programs in Malaysia uh, the special education programs in Malaysia has existed before the the PPPM uh, was introduced uh, so the first wave which is which was between 2013 to 2015 they focus on strengthening the existing programs so that that was for the first wave the second wave is right now 2016 to 2020 okay so they are focusing on increasing initiative and the number of experts so they are still strengthening and they are taking the initiative of um, 
adding the number of experts uh, in special education. So if you if you are interested in uh, let's say doing masters of PhD in special education, you are mostly welcome. Probably, if you apply for a funding or a scholarship uh, from the Ministry of Education, you might might be able to 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 get one. I, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not one of the panels. If I'm one of the panels, then I'll approve you. All right. So. That's for the second wave. The third wave, which is scheduled to be between 2021 to 2025, and that is for evaluating the initiatives that have been done before and merging the successful ones. So we, they, are, they, they are doing the initiatives right now, and when the time comes, they will evaluate these programs, these initiatives, and pick up the the ones that are proven successful, and they will group. Probably they will group it up and carry on doing it, which is very good, you know. Okay, as everything that is in our world, according to Newton, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. There are quite a number of factors that can be the barriers of of making uh, inclusive program a success. So part of it is, uh, as you can see, uh, limited resources. So as you know, special education and students with special needs, some of them, if not all, some of them will need a different set of uh, apparatus or services or uh, infrastructures built specifically to cater to their needs. Uh, so if we fail to accommodate that, um, then there's a problem. Okay, so that is one of the barriers. The other thing is our attitude. We cannot see them as defunct or or, or different. Of course, they're different, but different in a way that it's in a negative sense. No, no, you can't do that. Uh, you, you as a teacher, you need to approach them or approach uh, this subject with an open mind or a positive mind because we need more positive thinking teachers out there to drive change to drive uh, in these inclusive education programs in schools um, appropriately, successfully. So without the right mindset, you can't really uh, deliver the best inclusive education that you can provide. Okay. And uh, the other barriers uh, it's probably the lack of trained teachers. So now in UPSI, we have um, a department under Faculty of Human Development, uh, the, the de Department of Special Education. So we welcome anybody who, want, who wants to uh, further their study in Masters and PhD uh, on education, uh, spe special education. Yeah. So we need more experts. Right now, this, this, we are in the second wave and we are hoping to produce more experts in this, in this field. So we need you. Yeah, we need you to apply and come visit us and join us and join this very rich community in UPSI. We have a very strong department of special education. You're welcome here. Our door is always open. That's it. So I think that is a very soft introduction to the inclusive education programs in Malaysia. So after this, we are going to uh, explore other topics related to inclusive education. So until next time, I see you.